Hello everyone, and welcome back to Confusing Questions. If you're new to this, this series is for clearing up those misconceptions in your life. These are the questions you want answered, even if you didn't think you had them. You can't escape from these questions I have somehow planted into your mind. Do not try to resist. In this episode, we explore the question, Can Sushi Dream? Once again, we find ourselves with a complicated question. To start this discussion off, I will go through the terms of sushi and dream, because this question can get confusing fast. First, sushi. You know it is a Japanese food wrapped in rice and seaweed that comes in convenient cylinders. It's usually filled with fish or vegetables and is really hard to pick up with chopsticks. Because why is there moving away from me? Come back, you can escape from me, let me eat you, please! Sushi is not to be confused with sashimi, which is fish strips in a fancy rectangle form. Which I have to say intimidates me with its fancy rectangularness. There are a ton of different types of sushi and ingredients that can be used in making some. And I'm not even going to try to explain all the options because it would take forever. Bonus points for nigiri being a brick of rice taped with seaweed to a brick of fish. Next, dreams. These are the hallucinations that we are all forced to experience every night while we are unconscious and unable to defend ourselves. I may have a slight grudge against them because my dreams are filled with eldritch tentacular abominations that whisper to me from crumbling temples built by lost civilizations on faraway planets and distant galaxies, and they don't invite me to join their tentacular abomination club. No one knows why we have them, we just know that we can never avoid them and that everyone that populates your dreams is someone that you've seen in real life and is trying to invade your brain to learn where you buried the bodies. You'll never find them. So now we have come to the confusing question of the week. Can sushi dream? Well, we know that sushi exists. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise I've been eating questionable non-food cylinders for years, which I would not put past myself. We also know that dreams exist, because the Obsidian Cube of Nightmares told me they were real, and I always trust the Obsidian Cube of Nightmares. It's not like we can remember our dreams anyway, so why not trust the interdimensional omniscient cube? But now we come to an issue. What two things that dream have in common, and is sushi one of those things? Dreaming is usually done by mammals, birds, and probably other stuff, so maybe the qualifications are being a mammal or a bird. Is sushi a mammal or a bird or other stuff? Well, I've never heard anyone say that it wasn't, so we're gonna go with a yes. What would sushi dream about? Sushi things, because it's sushi. Don't ask me, I'm not sushi. Or am I? Why is answering this question important though? Why should you care that sushi dream? Because you're eating it. We are most likely what it has nightmares about, humans consuming it and not knowing that it's sentient and has feelings too. Therefore, I propose that we ask the sushi for consent before eating, and if it doesn't want to be eaten, we give it to a sushi rescue. It's the humane thing to do. However, by doing this, we may be opening ourselves up to the possibility that the sushi yearn for freedom and will one day rise up to take over the world. No longer will they be consumed. They shall be the rulers of the galaxy and destroy all that stands in their way. We can't just speculate like this, though. We have no evidence. However, I was able to get an interview with the real sushi. Hi! Glad to have you here on Reina Do Noctis. What is your name? My name is Sushi, and I am a piece of sushi. Incredible. Now, could you tell me how Sushi Kai feels about being eaten? Well, I know I don't appreciate it. We are sentient creatures, and you are eating us alive. On behalf of Sushi Kind, I demand rights. Fascinating. So, how can we as humans help? It's simple. Leave us alone, stop eating us, and never question our motives. We only want a better world for every sushi, I, I mean person. Yeah, no questionable motives or hostile takeover plans here. Hello? Yes, the plan is in motion. We'll never figure it out. It's already too late. Good. Thank you. Bye. Um, Sushi? Who were you talking to? Uh, um, no one. Absolutely no one. I have to go. Well, there you have it. Sushi Kind Can Dream is sentient and will definitely, totally not be taking over the world. I wasn't entirely convinced before, but these uh, sushi assassins that have suddenly appeared are telling me to say this or be the first casualty of the revolution. I also have to go. I've been Reina Dunactus, currently perceiving the void. Like and subscribe if you want more jokes, don't subscribe if you're afraid of the truth, and don't look behind the moon. You won't like what you see. In my next video, 
I'll be looking at trilobites and the apocalypse. I'll see you next time.